In this episode of the Total Mix FX Beginner's Guide, I'll show you how you can add reverb or delay to your headphone mixes or main monitor mixes. But before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and that you also click on the notifications button to get all the updates from this channel. Now let's look at Total Mix FX. All these P-Powered Army audio interfaces feature the reverb and echo effect that you'll find under the effects icon. So before we continue, please make sure that you have an RME audio interface that has DSP effects. The reverb and echo effects are send and return effects only. So they don't work on a per channel basis. If you look closely, you'll notice that every software and hardware input channel has a little fader next to the input channel fader. And these are responsible for the effect sense. So by turning up the effect send channel, the effects unit is detecting an input signal. But because we haven't engaged one of these reverb or echo effects, there is no output signal from the effect unit. Now we activated the echo and the reverb effect and you'll see that we get the wet signal now. To route this wet signal back to one of the hardware inputs, we just have to turn up these little faders next to the hardware output channels because these are now the send returns. So by turning up these little send returns, I'll just route the wet signal to the hardware outputs or to my headphones. And if I want to add also the wet signal with the dry signal, I just turn up the input channel faders as usual and the dry signal is now also routed to the headphones. So I can mix and match the dry and the wet signal very easily right within Total Mix FX on a per channel basis. I hope this was helpful. See you next time on the RME audio channel.